Okay. Oh, gee, that's too little. Let's try this one. Okay. Yeah, when it went 28-10, I said, man, I'm really proud of this team we got here. Down 10-0 at half, not doing anything, and uh, got some good runs going. Dylan hit a few passes here and there. Defense was playing well. And then we got back to being the careless Gamecocks, the stupid Gamecocks. Allowed the big pass, and then they make a two-point play. And now we're up a 10, and then uh, we got some little uh, drives going, and uh, get a lineman in there, tight end, jumps offside. But uh, I think we got a fortunate uh, face mask penalty. Uh, but anyway, then we get on the three-yard line, hit that pass to Jarrell, and, and Mike goes the wrong way and then runs in there and turns it loose. First down. I told Dylan if I had any damn dead gum sense, I'd just take a knee to prevent something stupid like that maybe happening with three and a half minutes. Cause, uh, and then we give up another 80, 90-yard pass, whatever the heck it was. So we, we got some work to do. We're going to learn how to play some uh, three deep uh, defense and try to keep everything in front of us because obviously we don't know what the heck we're doing uh, when we get a big lead right now. So we're going to work on it and uh, see if we can't get some guys fast back there that can catch one or two of these guys. We, we can't catch uh, anybody that gets, gets out in the open right now. So, But very happy that we won the game. Uh, it shouldn't, should not have got as close as it did, but it did. And uh, fortunately, Bruce uh, got the onside kick. Uh, Mike Davis had a heck of a game. Line blocked well. So that was, that was very encouraging. So uh, we, we just got to try not to be as careless as we have been in the last two games. Could have lost the Vandy game. Could have lost this one. Uh, but some, somebody up top is looking out for the Gamecocks right now because with our mental uh, decisions that we're making here and there, uh, easily could have lost. Easily. Yeah. Uh, Connor Shaw bruised his shoulder pretty good, jammed it. Uh, they say he'd be out maybe a week or two, but it's it's not out of place or anything. Wow. Brandon dislocated his elbow, and uh, he'll be out two or three weeks probably. Steve, yeah. what did you just, just kind of decide at halftime that? Time to run it. Yeah, it was very, it was very similar to the Kentucky game, almost exactly like the Kentucky game, uh, except they had a 17 to nothing, didn't they? Or 17 to seven. Uh, and we started running, running, and throwing a few here and there. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we had to try something different. Uh, yeah, we weren't hitting. We had zone read. Uh, we were getting clobbered. They had a good scheme to get the quarterback and get the, the, the running back up in there. So those plays didn't go anywhere. And Coach Ellis said, Coach, let's just get an eye right and eye left. And play we used to, the way we used to play 28 years ago. Off tackle and blast play. Had one sweep in there. But other than that, just, just run straight at him and – See if that would work, and fortunately it did. Was Shaq rolling out? Demir Bird played pretty well. Yeah, Demir did. Oh, man, we're running out the clock, and he makes a great catch on the shoestring one. And uh, Bruce lined up in the backfield. Bruce been playing flanker all day. And he, we switched him around. He, uh, we got to coach him better to get on the line when you're the split end, but he didn't, he didn't get on the line. And so then the next one, he had a chance for another shoestring, and he didn't catch that one. And I said, man, that's the way it's going. This it's, it's could be a disaster if it keeps going like that. But uh, fortunately, T.J. Holloman got the pick, and fortunately, we got the onside kick after the fumble. But, uh, yeah, we're, we're not very good with the lead right now, so uh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll work on it, though. We'll, we'll have some new defenses. I can assure you that. We'll have some guys just standing back there about 30 yards instead of whatever we're doing right now. It's, it's, it's not working very well. How hard is it for you with, with your passing mindset to – It's not hard at all, Gene. You haven't seen me coach in the last eight years, nine years. Where you been? We run more than we pass all the time in South Carolina now. No, but I said – We, uh, we is, run is 60%. I, I like winning better than passing yards. Okay. Are you surprised yeah, how strong you see that team out? No, no, they're a good team. They're a good team. I thought we'd do a little bit better offensively, uh, but we had well, we had three possessions and didn't do anything, and then we had the, the fourth one and made a little drive down there, but we started getting some penalties and this, that, and the other. Nicky and Dylan could have thrown it a little bit more down the middle, but he flat dropped uh, the deep one, and uh, yeah, that's just the way it happened. And they, they were controlling a lot of clock uh, in the first half also. But, uh, yeah, they just stopped us. You know, give them credit. We dropped a few here and there, misfired a few, but they stopped us. Steve, about Shaq, will he be able to come back next week? Is that to be determined? Ask athletic director. He's got a university policy deal that uh, he's dealing with right now. And it's not drug-related. Put that on the books. You changed your shirt and visor at halftime. Yes. Superstition? No, it was hot out there. <laughs> it got hot. We went out for warm-ups. It was overcast and cool. I said, man, it's going to be a pleasant day. And then the clouds disappeared and got a little muggy. Yeah, it was still muggy. 
Uh, but yeah, I did change a little bit. I, I don't generally wear black shirts, but I did wear one against Vanderbilt, and we beat them. So uh, yeah, yeah, I, I'm I'm not opposed to changing outfit. So that's for sure. Did you just talk about Davis today in the job? Yeah, Mike. Uh, he had some super runs and. Uh, uh, and the line blocked pretty well, too. And Connor McLaren, the fullback, yeah, yeah. he had some good lead blocks. I need to go back and give him a game ball because he played, I believe, with zero mistakes out there and, and blocked well. Blocked very well. Coach, do but, you win this football game with Mike Davis as a hair? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I doubt it, probably. But, uh, yeah, he's a good back, and uh, we gave it to him and gave it to him. A lot like we used to give Marcus Lattimore. Gene, if you'd been around. Marcus Lattimore used to get 40 carries also, so uh, it's not unusual. Yeah, that, uh, and, and that's what we got to do. Uh, I mean, sometimes the way our pass defense looks uh, after we get a lead, I don't know. I mean, we're just, we just uh, we need to stay on the field, stay on the field. And uh, had a chance to run it out there on the three-yard line, but, uh, but we, we fumbled that one away. Uh, so anyway, a good win, though. We're excited to come back and play w real well at times. And, we're disappointed at, you know, our mentality about three plays. Three plays were really good teams don't do those kind of things, and uh, we, we still do those kind of things. So we'll, we'll go back to drawing board and see if we can't keep stuff in front of us if we can get an 18-point lead again. Do you, you, know, you feel more comfortable going ahead without Shaw and that you had to do it last year a lot? Well, we had to a little bit, but uh, hopefully in two weeks he'll be back ready to go. Yeah, he, he didn't see that guy. He, we ran the option to the right, and he cut back, and uh, you know, you know, and he fumbled on that play too, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. Every time we fumble, we just make a first down. Have you noticed that yeah. against Georgia, against them, and Brandon had had the first down when he he fumbled his. Uh, so that's just. But we're winning those uh, some of these games. Uh, but we're just uh, yeah, we got to get smarter. But uh, yeah, Connor, it was his right shoulder. He, he'll get a lot of treatment. It's like a sprained shoulder, I think they told me. Well, he didn't see the guy. He, he, he didn't see the guy. He, he he sort of was cutting back, and the guy, he, he didn't see him. Were you wanting Ellington to follow that wall and not do what he did on that one side kick? On side kick? Uh, well, I was hoping he'd run out of bounds or go down and not try to cut back. But uh, he got a good hop, I guess. I don't know. I, I, was, I couldn't see much. Our, our, our guys did a good job of blocking, though, and letting it go through, which is what you do in that situation. You let it go and have a guy get it. And they cut off, you know, the rush guys. So that was one good special team play. Put that on the books there. Uh, didn't cover that punt very well, uh, but fortunately, TJ got the intercept on that that potential touchdown for UCF. So. Well, we weren't zone reading any good, and our passing game was not firing. So we we and we're only ten down, and fortunately, he made that long run. You know, they were sort of in a defense. I thought maybe we could throw one over their heads, but nah, let's leave it on, see what happens. And he goes, what, about 55 yards or something for the score. So, uh, yeah, you just need to, when you got a back, it can make yards. You got to keep giving it to him, as they say. That's what those NFL experts always tell them, don't take Lynn. You got to run the ball, got to run the ball. And that's true. We all know that. Steve, how yeah. much will you prepare Nasovich to potentially have to go in next yeah, week? Yeah, I guess he'd be next in line. Yeah, I guess he'd be next. He and Perry Orth, uh, we're going to try to redshirt Connor Mitch. So uh, Perry Orth's a pretty good little walk-on player that uh, can do some good things. Steve, you found okay. the guy, Demir Bird. <laughs> yeah, he got some action. He had a good week of practice and uh, hopefully made a good big catch down there on a scramble play to get us in. And. Uh, and then Dylan, Dylan ran in that rollout, little bootleg play was a good play. We, we made touchdowns. And I told Coach Elliott, I said, we didn't kick any field goals, and that ended up being the difference in the game. And you got uh, some turnovers, obviously, your defense hey, Yeah, we got some picks. Victor, Jimmy Legree, TJ Holloman. Uh, and we got that fumble. Yeah, we got that fumble that we sort of took away from our quarterback. That was a good play by, uh, who got that? Is that one of the Dixons, yeah. Yeah, it was a good play. Because uh, he, uh, their guy fell on it, but he never quite had it. And he wrestled it out. Good play. Coach, you yeah. targeting situation? Yeah, I thought we had a penalty on them when uh, Amon got clobbered there. Uh, you would think he'd sort of cut the guy back inside, but he just, and I saw the block, and, and then I saw the foul. I don't know. In the old days, that would have probably been a good block, but the flag came. I didn't know you could pick him up. Did y'all know that? 
Huh? What about target? You can pick them up? Yeah, you can review the actual target. I thought it was still a 15 yard penalty. Oh, the first one. Are we talking about uh, the first one or the second one? The one on the mic. Oh, okay. That's the second one. Yeah, they picked up everything. It said touchdown. I guess that's the rule. I didn't know that. I hadn't seen that one happen. Uh, usually they, uh, you know, bring the guy back in. He's not ejected, but 15 penalty sticks, I think. Uh, but they didn't, they didn't do that. But we're very fortunate, very thankful, and uh, hopefully we can learn from it. Okay. All right. Good to get a win down here, though. Gene? I like winning in Florida. That would have been disappointing. <laughs>